and it's International Day of People with Disabilities. tomorrow and in Australia the sector has improved since the National Disability Insurance Scheme was introduced and platforms to help the sector are emerging right now. To celebrate this day a new online tool is successfully connecting support workers with Australians with a disability. Ed Edward. The NDIS website around 460,000 Australians will need some assistance through the scheme by 2019. This is expected to cost $22 billion. Founder of not-for-profit website Higher Up, Jordan O'Reilly, has been working in the disability sector all his life. He created Higher Up to connect people with disabilities to support workers doing away with the need to get an agent. For both people with disabilities and support workers, everyone gets started by creating a profile which tells us a little bit about who they are and tells the community about what they're looking for. We then verify all of our community members, so for workers, we, we check all of the things you'd expect, such as police criminal record check. Everyone is, is checked and verified who joins the platform. We then have a number of ways that individuals can create matches by sending messages to one another through to a really fantastic job board feature. There are lots of ways to be able to sort of search for and match with a good support worker. The online tool was launched in 2015, and so far it's been a success. And we've been really amazed at, at how widely it's been taken up by the community in just that short period of time. We've signed up over 2,000 people with disability and their families, as well as over 3,500 support workers, meaning there's a collective total of over 5,500 users from right around Australia, from all states and territories around Australia, which has been really amazing for us to see. And Higher Up members seem to be happy with it. Mel Tran is a member of Higher Up. She's studying digital media design and working in the disability sector too. She will offer a workshop in Sydney to celebrate the International Day of People with Disabilities. I will run on an event. So uh, I work with a um, startup business called Ability Day, and we will be partnering with the City of Sydney tomorrow to run a workshop as a celebration of International Day for People with a Disability. And um, the idea of the workshop is disability and science fiction. So we'll be running a two-hour workshop on teaching participants how to go through the design process and how to bring technology into the lives of people with a disability, the impact of it into the future. And we'll also have a panel discussion around assistive technology and inclusive design. So it'll be a, quite a, a long day. Before subscribing to Higher Up, Ms. Tran says it was difficult for her to accommodate support workers with her Rasta. Um, before I started the online platform, I went through the traditional method of having agencies and coordinators and case managers. I found it wasn't good to work me at first. When I first started out having support workers at home and throughout to and help me participate in the community. But as time goes by, I start to feel that I want that control over who I hire and the staff I want to work with and my own muscle. But um, when I went through the traditional method of agencies, I didn't have that flexibility to do that. She also says it's practical and helpful for impaired Australians. When I first started hearing about higher up, I thought that was a really good opportunity for me to try something new and something innovative. I guess and also since I'm also studying digital media and I'm involved in a disability and technology sector, I've constantly been searching for innovative solutions that can also at best be classified as a game changer in the disability sector. So when I came across Higher Up, I think that was, that's a quite a good example of innovation and how we can use technology as a tool to break barriers for people with a disability. Mr O'Reilly says while the NDIS has moved Australia forward, it still faces some challenges and the community needs to be involved to bring better platforms for Australians with a disability. I really believe that the NDIS, it's a political and social reform that is only really as good as the response that comes from us as a community. And so 
we really believe it here at Higher Up that the NDIS is really reliant on fantastic new innovation to make the absolute most of the system. It's it's no good sort of getting a different type of funding, but on, but only having the same option to spend that funding on. It really is the challenge for us as a community and as a sector to be building great new innovations that offer new opportunities and new choices for people with disabilities and their families. That story by Eduardo Jordan.